Welcome. Volumes of Value presents insightful book reviews. This episode reviews The Terror Factory, Inside the FBI's Manufactured War on Terrorism, by Trevor Aronson, spelled A-A-R-O-N-S-O-N, published by IG Publishing, 2013. Print length, 284 pages. The book starts with an introduction followed by seven chapters. Trevor Aronson is a contributing writer at The Intercept and executive director of the Florida Center for Investigative Reporting. He is currently an ASU Future Security Fellow at New America and was previously a fellow at the Investigative Reporting Program at the University of California, Berkeley. Former FBI Supervisory Agent James J. Weddick says, quote, Aronson explains just how misguided and often deceptive FBI terrorism sting operations have become. In case after case, he demonstrates how the money being spent is more about producing theater than about federal agents arresting suspected terrorists. Pulitzer Prize winning professor of investigative reporting Lowell Bergman says, quote, this is investigative reporting at its best. This is a story that the major media has been afraid to look at, much less commit the resources to report it out. Now Trevor Aronson has done it. For the first time, a documented investigation into the domestic terrorism program is available to the general public. And the story this dogged reporter tells has been garnering growing attention. Is it possible that we have in fact created the very threat we fear? Are we in danger of destroying the fabric of our freedom in our panic to preserve it? Read Aronson's groundbreaking report and make up your own mind. End quote. The editor at Mother Jones Magazine says, quote, Trevor Aronson's new book documenting how the Federal Bureau of Investigation has built a vast network of informants to infiltrate Muslim communities and in some cases cultivate phony terrorist plots. The book grew from Aronson's award-winning Mother Jones cover story titled The Informants and his research in, in the investigative reporting program at the University of California, Berkeley, end quote. Three ex excerpts are available at trevoraronson.com slash book. The URL is spelled T-R-E-V-O-R-A-A-R-O-N-S-O-N dot com. Each excerpt is a 20 to 30 minute read. Here's a short from Trevor Aronson's article dated January 16, 2013, titled, Most Terrorist Plots in the U.S. Aren't Invented by Al-Qaeda, They're Manufactured by the FBI. At www.alternet.org. Quote, Antonio Martinez was a punk. The 22-year-old from Baltimore was chunky, with a wide nose and jet black hair pulled back close to his scalp and tied into long braids that hung past his shoulders. He preferred to be called Muhammad Hussein, the name he gave himself following his conversion to Islam. But his mother still called him Tony, and she couldn't understand her son's burning desire to be the Maryland Mujahideen. As a young man, Martinez had been angry and lost. He dropped out of Laurel High School in Prince George's County, Maryland, and spent his teens as, as a small-time thief in the Washington, D.C. suburbs. When the FBI discovered him, Martinez was an angry extremist mouthing off on Facebook about violence with misspelled posts. Based on the Facebook postings alone, an FBI agent gave an informant the green light to get to know Martinez and determine if he had a propensity for violence. The government was setting the trap. 
end quote. This book's popularity is demonstrated in the fact that its Amazon rank is number 65 in the privacy and surveillance category. There, customer reviews rate it 4 out of 5 stars. We end this episode and declare, writing is revolutionary. For more than 5,000 years, the information density and format efficiency of the written record is the gold standard for information. Let's feed our minds and nourish our imagination. Let's read. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel.